Hello friends, thank you very much for joining in. Hi, this is Ganesh Nayak. I help finance professionals and students to excel in their career and become a better version of themselves. It's so a lot of trainings and development and mentoring. And I also help students who are appearing for FRM and CFA exams to clear their exam in the first attempt. Now, I'm answering to few of the queries which I have received. This is a part of the FRM FAQ series, okay, where people or students primarily going for the exam, they ask me whether you want, if you want to succeed in the risk management roles or if you want to become a part of the risk management team, do we need to have a knowledge of Python or R? The answer to this question is no, okay? Primarily because within the risk management team also, the, there are so many different roles, okay? There are roles which do not need any knowledge of coding, okay? That's a basic requirement, not to have any understanding of technology-driven part of coding. But there are certain roles wherein the basic work itself needs you to have the coding or the python or r or matlab uh, knowledge okay now having said this okay if you want to succeed at a longer in the longer range then having the knowledge of python r power bi w uh, then all of these all tricks primarily all of this will help you to clear, uh, to succeed in the risk management roles in a at a longer period of time the reason being the banks have now moved towards automation and they need people who have the functional knowledge which means they understand the risk and also there are people who can understand technology better okay so if you know if you feel if you if somebody is asking me whether i need python or r to start their journey in risk management or is it very necessary for risk management right now no okay you can go ahead and start your job without even those knowledge but if you want to succeed over a period of time, say 10 years, having that knowledge will sufficiently give you an edge because that means that you have a combination of functional plus the technical knowledge. Okay, so I hope this video is helpful for students who are going to go for the exam. Thank you very much, guys.